We are officially into 2023, and that makes a whole new year of Ashes of Creation live streams, where we can impatiently wait for signs of Alpha 2 and argue about when we can expect the announcement for testing to begin. I personally can't wait to see what Intrepid has in store for us, as 2022 completely blew my expectations out of the water from what we were getting in the live streams. And although we haven't been able to play the game, they have shown us many great things they're working on, but in 2023, I am hoping they take this even further. The first and biggest thing I want out of 2023 is the obvious one, Alpha 2. It has been almost a year and a half since the last Alpha 1 test we got, and I really hope we can step back into the world of Vera at some point in the near future. Future. As you know, I was expecting an alpha date in December, but was heavily disappointed, but that doesn't mean we won't get one soon. At this point though, if Alpha 2 was announced in the next few months, it would probably still be a solid few months after that until the official Alpha 2 date kicks off. So at the earliest, we would probably see Alpha 2 in the summer, but at this rate, it might even be fall or winter. But that doesn't mean Intrepid can't kick off some spot testing for us to jump into to help them fine tune the big features that they are working on. Steven confirmed in October, October that spot testing would be starting up in the next several months, and we are getting toward the end of that time frame. But I don't imagine we will hear anything until they get the game updated to Unreal 5.1, which is said to be happening this month in January. If we don't get Alpha 2, well then I still hope for some big reveals such as naval content. Naval is a huge system that Intrepid has been working on for a while, and even expanded the world map for last year. And I'm hoping it is getting close to a presentable state where we can see what it's like to jump in on a player run ship and embark on an adventure to take on other players or a sea monster living out in the oceans. Naval content is by far one of my most anticipated features for Ashes of Creation, allowing players to even siege castles on islands in the ocean. I also hope we get to see all eight archetypes working in the game. We have not at any point during this development seen the Summoner or the Bard in any state, and we know that we will at least see the Bard this year, but I am more excited to see the Summoner. We also haven't seen the Rogue since Alpha Zero, and we barely scratched the surface on the fighter, cleric, and ranger this year, giving us minimal basic abilities for each class so far. We do know that we are getting the tank at the end of this month in the live stream though, which will finally complete the holy trinity of tank heals and DPS. Then there is also the mage that we haven't seen or really heard anything on since Alpha 1 testing. I'd also like us to finally leave the Riverlands and explore a new region of the map. A majority of 2022 was showcased in the Riverlands, we did get the desert teaser but no actual gameplay in that desert, and towards the end of the year we did get a different looking biome within the Riverlands pushing towards the Redwood Forest. But I am hoping that the desert at this point is in a more presentable state so we will hopefully be seeing that region soon. The last big thing I'm hoping to see though is a more polished zone. I want to see some more gameplay of Steven embarking on some general MMO adventures in one of the upcoming live streams, giving us a glimpse at everything an MMORPG has to offer. A little bit of gathering, questing, crafting, killing monsters, and exploring in a world more populated with NPCs and creatures. Compared to these single areas that we have seen with no quests and minimal NPCs to take on, Intrepid has done a great job showing us new parts of the world this past year, but I want to see parts of the world that feel less empty and filled with all of those things you come to expect in an MMO. I'd even like to see an updated node. We haven't seen any nodes, any cities, really anything, any NPC hubs at all this past year, and I'm sure those are still being worked on and placed throughout the world, but I really want to see more of Alpha 2 really start to come together this year and give us a solid foundation to begin testing on. And I know we're seeing a world boss as well in the next few months, but I'd really like to start seeing more group content now that the tank, healer, and some of the DPS are ready to showcase. I think this is opening the door now with the tank being in in January where we can see a lot more group content in the months to come, hopefully taking us into a couple dungeons, seeing more than just one world boss, or even maybe some just more challenging areas within zones that would require a group to take on in the final version of the game. Although Ashes is a PvP focused game, dungeon play is going to be a huge part of it, and I'm really hoping we get to see a lot more of that. If you look back in the Alpha Zero gameplay, we saw a ton of dungeon gameplay as Steven took groups through dungeons, and I know they're in a state now where they want these boss fights to be more polished and more challenging than we've seen in the past. I really hope we could get back to that road of seeing a bit more dungeon gameplay than we have in the last few years. 
What are you hoping to see in Ashes of Creation in 2023? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetic packs, or just hang out until you can finally step foot in the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.